Hi, I'm Joe. This is an inside look at the history of the Daredevil spade bit, my favorite spade bit. I'm here with Wade Noctigal. He's a machinist. Uh, he, he really can make some incredible stuff, and I, I've seen him do a lot, of, a lot of work here at Bosch. Tell me though, Wade, I know you're instrumental to the, to the Daredevil. How'd you get started with it? Well, essentially, Joe, what we did, uh, we went to the hardware store first and picked up a variety of uh, spade bits from everybody else in, in the industry and brought them back here and started cutting holes. Drilled a bunch of holes, and I guess you uh, really paid attention to what you don't like and what you do like about conventional bits, right? Oh, absolutely. We were looking at these in slow motion and with the naked eye just to see what the different performance levels were. All right. And the, the previous bit to the Daredevil spade bit was the rapid feed. Correct. Great bit. I was always happy with it. Did you just take that and, and kind of add to it, or, or what'd you do? No, we didn't particularly fashion anything after that bit in particular. We looked at everybody's bits as the pluses and minuses of each design and uh, just evaluated them all fairly. So there was no holds barred as to who was better or not. That sounds good. Now, here's what I'm used to seeing. So that's a regular Daredevil spade bit as it comes out of the package. I'm used to using these. I love this bit. How'd you get here? Well, essentially, Joe, what we did was we started with this <laughs> and cut it down to this. So you can see that there's not a whole lot of material there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, we just, that's what we did. So That seems like quite a process. Yeah. So some of my favorite points about this bit, fully threaded tip, obviously. That, if I get it to the work, especially drilling overhead, pulls the drill right through, right. makes it so much easier on me. It's also got that wave on there. I talked to that about a lot. I talk about the wave to a lot of people, but you know, give me the technical details on how exactly that wave works. Well, uh, if you look at a standard spade bit that's flat, that's it, cutting edges are 90 degrees to the surface of the wood. Okay. And so essentially, it's scraping the wood away rather than cutting it away. So what we did was is we reduced the angle of attack on this bit, so it's about 70 degrees. So it actually cuts the wood and scoops it out away from the parent material. So putting that curve in there allows it to shear through the wood. That's awesome. Uh, fully threaded tip. What's the what's the technical on that? Did you tr play around with different ones? Yes, we did. We uh, played around with different uh, thread pitch counts so that we got something that was right in between uh, what a cordless tool would need and a power tool could use. Okay. So um, it basically, this is a middle for, middle for efficiency. All right. So if you feed it too fast, it'll bog down cordless drills. If you go too slow, nobody wants too slow. We're all in a hurry. So I love that. It's the best spade bit out there. I certainly use it and love it. You did a heck of a job with it. Thank you very much, Joe. So that's an inside look on the history of the Daredevil Spade Bit. I'm Joe Sains, Wade Nakagal. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.